If you would like to start a faceless YouTube channel and you would like to use the power of AI to speed up your whole process, in this video, I'm gonna show you a very awesome program called Filmora. They now have released a brand new feature that is actually doing exactly that. All you need to do is give it an audio file and it's gonna generate videos automatically. It's gonna create the images via AI, also the videos, also the subtitles. It's gonna be very interesting. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. I'm super excited to have you. My name is Julian. I'm a content creator. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm also a YouTuber. And if you're interested in any of these topics, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you um, a brand new feature of Filmora. This is actually what you can see here. This is the starting screen from Filmora. And if we go over here to Toolbox, um, this is where all of the new features, where all of the magic is happening. And as you can see here, the whole AI thing is going absolutely crazy with Filmora. I made a bunch of videos in the past already you can check them out here on the channel. But today we're going to take a closer look at audio to video. And the theory behind this is very simple. Like, for example, you have been on a podcast or you're just recording audio and you do not want to be in front of the camera, but you still want to create long form videos, short form videos, vertically, horizontally, doesn't really matter. And the thing that, that you can do here with Filmora is you basically just upload to the audio file. It needs to be between 10 minutes and one hour. And then it's just going to pick out the most interesting spots of the whole thing. It's going to transcribe everything and then it's going to use AI to also generate images behind it. And I think it's absolutely insane. Just to, in case you're interested in Filmora, um, they are sponsoring. They are our partner of the channel. I will link it down below so you can check it out for yourself. And they also have plenty of other very awesome AI features, the video enhancer image to video. So you basically just put in a photo and they make a video out of it. Um, so they have some very awesome um, features here. Also the planar tracking. I made a video about that already. But today we're going to take a look at audio to video. So we just click on it here. And then as you can see, everything we need to do is just um, click to upload or drag a file. It needs to be between 10 and 120 minutes. So excuse me, it's not just one hour. Um, I have prepared one right here. I'm just dragging it in here. And then you have a bunch of different options depending on, you know, the type of video that you would like to create. So please select the audio language. Um, there is a surprising big amount of different languages. In this case, um, I have been using um, English for this one. And then you can dial in like what type of content is your audio? Is it a story or a history. In my case, it's a story ratio nine by 16 or 16 by nine. I'm just going to go with 16 by nine here. And then the duration out of the whole thing that you're putting in there. Um, as I mentioned, the AI is just going to pick out the most interesting parts of the video. And then it's going to create short form content out of these, you know, context basically. And what I would recommend is just go with auto, just let it as much um, control as possible. But obviously, if you know exactly like you want to have this or that, just pick it. But I'm for now going to go with auto. And then you can also dial in like how many videos would you like to have is for the maximum. Let's just see if we can dial in seven. No, I think it depends a little bit on how long the video is, um, but I'm just now going to go with three. That's fine. Um, then when it comes to video style, if you leave this at auto, the whole AI in the background is just going to analyze it. And depending on, you know, depending on the style of video, it's going to create the images according to that. If you have like a very specific um, thing in your mind where you say like, OK, I would like to have this or that, then obviously go for that. But in my case, I'm just going to go with auto. Here you can also have a couple of templates where you can see like, okay, this is what it could look like. But again, I'm just going to leave it on auto. Depending on like the type of content that you're making, you can obviously pick something else here. And that is basically it. The only thing left that you need to do is click on generate and then it's going to do it in the background. And yeah, we just let it do its thing. And then we're just going to check out what it came up with and what we can do with that and how we can tweak it. All right. So after just a couple of minutes, this is the screen that pops up. And by the way, like in case you have an even longer video or a longer audio file for that matter, you can let it run in the background and you're also going to get notified via an email once um, the whole um, AI magic is done. So this is what it looks like on um, the video or the audio file that I uploaded was like 10 minutes or so, and it took like three to four minutes. So it's not super bad. And yeah, actually, we can take a look at what um, what Filmora has been creating. And as you can see, I have three different options. Options. And obviously, if you have like a longer video, if you have a longer podcast file or something, you can upload up to one hour. As I mentioned before, you will have obviously even more options. So yeah, I would say let's just take a look at it and let's see if this is like the magic formula to all of you guys that want to have a faceless AI generated YouTube channel. There are a lot of groups when it comes to technical stuff and, and, and all of that, but there is very few things on action. 
So one thing that I like is um, that the subtitles is each individual word. So it's not like it creates like a super long, a long subtitle um, thing, but it's actually word by word. And obviously the images, they are AI generated and you can see that. But I know for a fact that there are many, many channels out there that have very similar um, style of videos and they're performing really well. So let's keep on watching that. Scaling the business. And originally I nice thought transition. If there is nobody doing that. That's very good because you know the whole blue ocean strategy and I should do that. Yeah, and basically the way and how um on how the program or how the AI is doing it, it just analyzes the transcript and it just searches for different keywords in the transcription, basically. And then, you know, since the blue ocean strategy, it was searching for a blue ocean strategy. Let's keep on watching. But that is completely wrong if there is if there is no demand, nobody's doing that. You could see there was like a, <clears throat> an empty parking lot and uh, I don't know, a classroom or something that's completely empty. So I think it, when it comes to understanding what is actually happening in the video, I think the AI is doing a great job here. That means don't do it. And I this that maybe was like a little bit of a mistake. Don't do it. Like the one thing that AI is having a really hard job up until right now as a recording of this video in January of 2025 is writing text into AI generated videos. So that has been not working well. But overall, um, I think this is doing like this is working pretty well. Let's check out the second one. Some capital, but if you're selling some courses or communities and stuff, this is something where you do not need a lot of capital at the beginning. And that's how you can get started super fast and super yeah, I also like the transitions with uh, um, with these clouds. So all of that is super nice. Let's check out the third one. Start with thorough competitor research. Create an Excel sheet. This is actually something where I personally, where I'm not the biggest fan, but for you, this might be something that you actually like. And also here, I know for a fact that there are many people out there that actually prefer something like this, where you can also not recognize the voice, but where there is actually an AI voice generated. So you can still hear like a little bit that this is my original voice, but it's not my voice. So it, the AI is just taking some modifications on top of that. And then it just again creates the same thing. There's also a music in the background. So yeah, overall, I think um, both of the, uh, like all of these three are very good. Um, Filmora is also giving you a rating of like, you know, this is a nine out of 10. So this should be the best one. And now let's check out how we can actually edit this. And now, as you can see, we have like um, the whole timeline where there is the audio file. There are all of the AI generated clips. And then there is the subtitles here on top as well. So as I mentioned before, there was, I think maybe it was in the other video, but yeah, here maybe as well. I'm um, with the, the text right here. So this is not too nice. I don't like that too much. No demand. If nobody is doing that, that means don't do it. Or here, here, this one here as well. So these would probably be like the only couple of um, clips that I would change for this video. And then obviously, like depending on how you're going to use it, if you want to use it for short form content, then obviously you, you would not do a 16 by 9 video, but rather 9 by 16. And I think that's also like, especially if you're starting a channel, that's probably how I would do it. But generally speaking, um, like I think it's doing a pretty good job. And if you just want to dip your toe into creating videos with AI, not showing your face um, also, um, in case you do not want to, um, I don't know, even show your own voice. Um, I think this is a very good option. And yeah, it's just going to speed up the whole process a lot. And yeah, in case you wanted to add some music, you could just drag and drop it here um, into the timeline. You could just go over here to audio um, and just import some music that you want to have. Or you can also let the music be AI generated. So generally speaking, like when it comes to the AI opportunities, Filmora is an absolute recommendation. Also with the whole cap cut band, like just give a Filmora a try. You can also use it on your smartphone. It's very versatile. I have plenty of videos about Filmora on the channel in case you also want to have a full overview over the program where you can find anything and how it is working. I will link the video up there. Huge thanks also to Filmora for sponsoring this video. And yeah, in case you want to start your own channel, um, also check out the links down below. We're currently helping a couple of creators um, in a one-on-one -on -one style. So in case you want to start your own YouTube channel, just make sure you check out the link down below. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. In case you have not seen the video or I'm showing you the exact framework on how I'm setting my goals for this year and click this video over there.